Hello, my name is Thales and Korting and I will present basic ship detection in remote sensing. First of all, I would like to recall the NDWI formula. This equation we have to make arithmetic between the green and near infrared bands divided by green plus near infrared bands. For example, suppose we have this image here, which is the green band and this one which is the near infrared band. If we apply the NDWI formula, in this case we can see that it highlights the targets related to water. Uh, the sea here and here we have the coast, some uh, places in the land and also clouds, islands and here also clouds, but what we are interested in is on how to detect this ships here. And then we apply this basic threshold. We compute when NDWI is below a certain threshold, we classify as non-water target. When this is higher than a threshold, T, we can define it as the target water. It's our decision to set this value of T. How to find it? Let's see the same image again which we have the sea here and also some uh, clouds and the land here. If we apply different threshold values, we can see different results here. By applying different thresholds, we can see different targets being highlighted. We can use this different thresholds in order to find the best threshold that we consider to delimitate water and non-water targets. In this case we choose this value here and we have this result here. This is the zoom of the result that we obtained and we have now water targets versus non-water targets. In order to filter and to improve the, the results, for example, to remove this uh, salt and pepper effect of the borders, for example, we apply the mode filter and obtain this result here. You can see that many of the problems of the coast have disappeared and also we reduced the salt and pepper effect here. So our main idea is to find the water target and after this we try to find ships which will be inside the water. We can exclude directly these places here and here for example. So the next step is to detect ships in white regions because these are the water targets. To detect the ships in this image we do all these previous steps. We get the image, compute NDWI, apply the threshold and filter the image and then we apply a line detector because all of the ships have this aspect here to be small lines inside the water. So by applying the line detector we can see that several of our targets will be detected in our image. The line detector is a very simple function. Our high pass filters combined to highlight the areas. So we can see here that we detected all the ships in the images and targets that we did not detect was related to clouds and not to ships. So this was an effective technique to be applied in images, in remote sensing images to detect ships. Some references that I used, the main reference to find a uh, basic digital image processing techniques was the Gonzales and Woods digital image processing book and also this article which defines the NDWI all the source code, latex equations, algorithms in Python and also data set used in my videos are available in my github site and also these images that I obtained in this particular example I could access in the Sentinel Hub EO browser. So this is basic ship detection in remote sensing.